It's a very common intuition and understanding among us that the testing is an activity which generally begins once the implementation is done, or at least when some modules are developed and released for testing, but not. Testing begins much earlier in a life cycle model. So let's understand today more about it, that how testing exactly fits into a life cycle model and how early testing can start contributing towards the quality. Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another episode of Testing in Nutshell. This is Neeraj Kumar Singh and today we are talking about how exactly testing fits into the life cycle model of development and at the same time understanding that where exactly testing can really kick start. So the journey starts right from the very beginning and the very first level, the moment we start gathering requirement. It's a very common intuition that generally testing starts after the development, but today we are talking about one of the another principle in testing which says early testing is important which also addresses to you that testing is not an activity which has to wait for the development to actually begin. We can go ahead and start with testing right at the very first phase that is requirement gathering itself. But how? Of course, we do have other part of testing. The one which we generally talk about after implementation is dynamic testing, where you run the code, you run the application, execute test cases and log the outcomes. But the other half of it is called as static testing, where generally when you talk about static testing, it begins on the non-executable part of it. For example, when you talk about work products, you talk about any documents, including the design, you talk about control flow diagrams, business models, or even after everything is over, you have a lot of documents which are created as a part of your process. Probably we call them as work products. Now these work products are created as a part of process and of course they need to be reviewed. Now this review is what you call it as static testing, where there is no execution, there is no such act object which will be practically executed and we try to analyze them to find for any anomalies, any issues, inconsistencies, omissions or unclarity, any such thing. So generally, the static testing begins right from the very first document is available. Now, when you talk about requirement gathering, when the business requirements are being gathered, the testers can be invited to review them so that they can help us to add more value to it in terms of finding defects or different findings in terms of the documentation completion, inconsistencies or any such clarity issue. So these kind of defects help us to identify them very early in the life cycle and of course in turn they are cheaper to fix. We always say that defects which are found earlier is quite cheaper to fix compared to found later. And it also prevents the defect as a major objective of testing. We do say preventing defect is another objective of testing. And this is how by conducting review on the parent documentation or initial documents we can prevent defects being from propagated. So that's how a testing can actually begin very early in the life cycle phases and right from the first draft is available. So we do say that one of the good characteristics of testing to be applied on any development model is to say that the testing must begin or testers must be involved in different activities as soon as the first draft is available. Before that even can be finalized, we start contributing from the very first draft of any documentation when it is available. As tester understands the details, we raise a lot of query, even if you talk about from the point of validation, yes, the testers are considered as one of the best contributors to reviewing the documents. Now that's how we say that testing happens quite early in the life cycle and by preventing the defects from being propagated or being multiplied into the code. So I hope that was quite clear and interesting to you to understand more about how testing can actually start in a life cycle model which is very very early in the very early phases. 
So that's all from this particular episode team. I hope you enjoyed it and there was definitely something new to learn about testing. We'll be getting back to you with another episode of the same. Stay tuned for that. Should you have anything else beyond this, feel free to comment below. I'll be there to address and answer your queries. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring and keep understanding the context. Thanks for watching the video team and happy learning.